Hello and welcome back to episode two, using fruit in your spell work. Now what is more beautiful than a bowl full of cherries? Here's some that I dried today. Do not throw away your overripe fruit. Dry it out in the oven on the lowest temperature, slow and steady, checking it often, because if you go too far like I did with my strawberries today, they'll turn black. So you want them to retain their beautiful color. The cherries actually I didn't go too far on them. They still have a pretty good red color, but my strawberries that I did along with these turned black, which look like little black hearts. Also useful in spell work. The cherry is a very sexy fruit to me. These can be burned to attract your lover. You can also use cherries to unify yourself as a couple. Cherries can be used in love spells, fertility spells. They have a big seed in the middle. Cherries are a stone fruit. Historically, cherries have been used in spells for immortality and kindness. Put your worries, your sorrows, your troubles, put it into the pit and then cast it away. That way you're casting away your troubles. Cherries are related to the planet Venus. They can be used in spells for beauty. They can be used to deepen your intuition. The pits of the cherries are also called the stone. You can use this in your karma jar to weight down, to, to give that feeling of heaviness, heavy burden. They can also be used to make someone ill. In that way, you can use them in hexes, curses, and curse reversals. Because of the bright red color of the cherry, you can use it in all manners of spells for beauty, love, attraction, enchantment, power, vitality, and boldness. As always, I will have a Book of Shadows page in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.